All right, what we're, what we're going to demonstrate here is Boyle's Law using a vacuum pump that has a little meter on it to show how much air it's taken out. When it takes out all the air, the meter will be all the way around there. And you will see that happen over here by watching the balloon. As the balloon uh, sits inside of the chamber with the air pressure going down, you're going to see it get a little bit larger. Okay, here we go. You see the valve is already showing that a lot of air has come out. And now we had P1 and V1 for the balloon before we started. Now we have a new P1 and a V1, and it's continually changing according that we can see over here on the meter. As that meter is going up, more and more air is coming out of the chamber and that balloon is getting bigger and bigger. This whole process takes about two minutes, but it's, uh, it's pretty neat to see what's happening with that balloon. There is no opening for that balloon. That balloon is sealed. There's no opening to the outside. Okay? So you can see that it is getting, indeed getting bigger. And I will upload one of my videos on this to YouTube tonight and I'll put a link to it. Okay? And yes, anybody wants to take a video, you're welcome to come up and do the same thing I'm doing. Okay? And yeah, you just gotta be just gotta send me a copy of it on on uh, an email. Attach it to an email. So I can see if you did better than I did. And so we're continuing now. The pressure is going down even further. When we get to that last little bit, that balloon grows quite a lot. Okay, it's getting bigger. Because there's not enough air in there. If I if I blew the balloon up bigger, bigger than it is right now. And it was that size before I started. We might be able to pop it. Oh, yeah. But you can't get the air out of the cells fast enough to keep it from doing that. Yeah. Especially if I take you straight into. Oh yeah, it's smoking a little bit. It does that. It's tough to get all the air out of there. Now you see that it, that balloon's growing pretty good right now. So is that pretty hot right now? Eh, no, not especially. And what is that? How I don't is know that if you can see it in the video, but there's a little smoke coming off of this thing. And you can see now from looking at the meter that we're just about to zero atmospheres. And it's zero atmospheres because I've taken out 760 tors of pressure, or so here we are now. Now, folks, this is P2 and V2, as you're looking at it right now. And what we're going to do is shut off the valve so I can disconnect the pump and, uh, David, yes. would you take that off of there for me? And listen what happens when we release. Go ahead, pull it out. Careful. Yeah, come on, pull. That's it, pull it out. There. Now, do you hear the little tss? Okay, that's air coming into the hose. Okay, the hose had air in it, or had no air in it, and when we released it, air came inside. Now, when you're in an auto, automobile shop, repair shop, you're going to hear pss when they take what, the air tool that they're using to take the tire off with, okay? Mm -hmm. when, they, when they take it off, you hear a little pss of air, but that's air going out. This is air going in. Now you're going to hear air going into the chamber, and we're now at P2V2, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, David, you got to lift this thing. Take this thing off, would you? I can't, can I? Go ahead, take it off. Come on, lift it. Oh, you lifted the whole thing out there, and it's pretty heavy, isn't it? 
Okay, the air pressure is so strong, we get 14 pounds per square inch on the outside, and it pushes every square inch has 14 pounds per square inch of pressure up against the bottom side as well as the sides. Now I'm going to reduce that dif pressure difference by letting the air come in. Now you can see the air coming in. Go ahead, put your hand over it. Ah, uh, it stopped it, didn't it? Can you feel it pulling in on your finger? Uh-huh. Yeah, okay, let it go. And now we're going back to P1, V1, the original conditions. So the original conditions are one, and the new conditions were two, when we had all the air out. And there was a difference in pressure and a difference in volume, wasn't there? That's what Boyle's Law is all about. That's what all the gas laws do. They have two conditions, and you get to see what the difference is between the two conditions. So much for Boyle's Law.